hello friends today in this video we will discuss about abc model of flower development so the model explains about the genetics behind the formation of different worlds in a flower so as we know that there are four different worlds in a flower the sepal the outermost one the second wall is petal the bright colored one the third one is the stamen which consists of anther and filament and the fourth one is your carpel which consists of stigma, style and ovary and also the innermost one so this model explains that the formation of these four different worlds are regulated by the expression of three different genes class A class B and class C these three genes regulates the development for the formation of these four walls so the class A genes or gene A regulates the formation of sepals and petals it itself alone regulates the formation of sepal here we can see only gene A is responsible for the formation of sepals gene A and B together interacts with each other and are responsible for the formation of petal which is the second wall gene B and C are responsible for the formation of stamen which is the third wall and gene C itself alone regulates the formation of the fourth wall carpels so these three genes A B C together interact with each other and regulates the development of these four different worlds so the three genes abc the a genes are epitela 1 epitela 2 the gene b are epitela 3 and pistilata 1 and gene c is agamus so this is the scenario of the wild type flower where the expression of all these three genes are occurring and we are, can see that there are four different walls sepal, petal, stamen and carpel now one thing I would like to say you that A and C both are dominant but both are also antagonistic to each other that means in those worlds where A is expressed C will not be expressed and in case where C is expressed a will not be expressed so this a here we can see is inhibiting the expression of c here in the first two walls sepals and petals while this c is inhibiting the expression of gene a in wall 3 and wall 4 so what will happen if we will mutate this class a gene so when we will mutate this class a gene the A will not be functional anymore so it will not be able to inhibit the expression of this C in wall 1 and wall 2 so the class C gene will take over the function of class A gene so in wall 1 and 2 your C gene will be able to express so as we know that this C gene alone regulates the expression of carpel so here when A is mutated, the first wall which was alone regulated by class A gene is now alone regulated by class C gene. So here in first wall, sepal will be converted to carpel. Again in wall 2 where A plus B together regulates the formation of petal will now be converted into stamen because since C is taking over the expression of A so in this case the petal or the second wall will be converted to stamen because C here will combine with B to regulate the development of stamen so when A is mutated C will take over the function of the entire part and the formation of wall will be like 
कार्पेल स्टेमेन स्टेमेन कार्पेल नो वॉट विल हैपन इफ वी म्यूटेट दिस बी जीन when we will mutate this b gene then since b is not there in wall 1 and 2 the expression of a will occur and in wall 3 and 4 the expression of c will occur because when b is mutated the expression of b was occurring in wall 2 and wall 3 so in wall 2 b together with a was uh, regulating the development of petals so when b is not there a is alone a is not able to interact with b so as we know that a alone regulates the development of sepal so when b is not there so because of this expression of a here only sepal will form again again in wall 3 where b was interacting with c to regulate the development of stamen here when b is mutated then we we here when b is mutated then c will only express in this wall 3 so we know that c alone specifies the development of carpel so in this case in wall 3 only c will express because it no b is there so only carpel will form so in 3 also carpel will form and in 4 also carpel will form so the four walls will be like sepal sepal carpel carpel okay again what will happen when c is mutated so when c is mutated in that case your a will take over the function of c so previously a was expressing in wall 1 only and it was regulating the formation of sepal in wall 2 together with b it was regulating the formation of petal so when c is not there a will take over the function of the entire wall so again in wall 3 when there is no c to inhibit the expression of a the a together with b which is also expressed in wall 3 will regulate the formation of petal and in wall 4 again the a will be expressed alone and it will regulate the formation of sepal so here the wall 3 and 4 changed from in wall 3 stamen to petal and in wall 4 it changed from carpel to sepal so after mutation in gene c the pattern of formation of wall will be like sepal petal petal and sepal so mutation in gene a a petal at 2 will lead to a formation of flower having wall carpel stamen stamen carpel mutation in gene b will lead to the formation of sepal sepal carpel carpel while mutation in gene while mutation in gene c or agamus will lead to a formation of sepal petal petal and stamen so what will happen now when all the three genes are mutated so when all the three genes are mutated then no walls will be formed a leaf like pattern will be developed 
so i hope you guys have understood this abc model so please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like thank you